Hey, hey, everybody, Debbie Starr here. So today I wanted to share with you, um, one, how not to get overwhelmed if you just happen to have dipped your toes into a funnel gorgeous slash go high level or a lot of those white label programs out there. Or uh, if you know you need an all-in-one, you're ready to upscale your business so that you can get clients or uh, leads every day that turn into clients every week, and you need an easy way to do that. This all-in-one program that I'm going to demonstrate for you, Go High Level, uh, is your solution. It is going to be the cash in your back pocket. But here's the deal, and lean in just a little bit. Uh, people uh, sign up for these programs and then all of a sudden they are feeling overwhelmed because this is a super powerful program. So <laughs> I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. And I was just talking to somebody the other day and I said, what you need to do is basically break it down into three functions. Um, high level, uh, they are, you know, they offer you the funnels, the marketing strategy, also the web pages, um, and the calendaring appointment. Okay. So you can set up your account calendar appointments with your, your ideal clients and a bunch of other stuff, uh, courses, memberships, the whole nine yard yards. So what I suggest is that you start with one little thing, do a little baby step. Once you get that conquered, go on to the next one. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a calendar appointment widget. Okay, so you're a coach, online creative, somebody wants to talk with you. If you can get them on the phone, you can basically sell them the service. So follow along and I'm going to just show you how easy it is to set up this calendar. So let me shrink my little head down here get this out of the way. Um, and I am inside of high level. And over here to the left, as far as uh, the time of this video, this is where all of your goodies live. So again, think of these as major categories. And all we're going to do is come up here to where it says calendars. And again, there's a bunch of things you can do with calendars. But what we're going to do is create your unique uh, like free consultation calendar. So just follow along. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set that up. So if you come up here to the top and click calendars, and then over here to the top right, we're just going to click on create a calendar. Now I have to say, I mean, Go High Level just keeps getting better and better all the time. There's all kinds of different types of calendars. Okay. Uh, don't get lost in the weeds about this. For the most part, you're either going to use a service calendar or a simple calendar. Basically, they're kind of the, the same thing. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to select a service calendar and you give it a name. Now, here's a couple of little uh, tricks for you. I like to use um, emojis, and the reason I do is because it stands out, uh, and you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm going to put a little picture of a calendar, and I'm going to say 30-minute uh, free consultation. Um, uh, you could call it anything you want, okay? Uh, keep in mind that the calendar names show up, all right? So that's what this is. You can assign a staff member, uh, which for the most part, it will be you, all right? And then down here under custom widget, you can actually give it a unique name that makes more sense. So if I just say, a, and there can't be any spaces or anything, so I'm going to say star consulting. Um, I'm just going to leave it at star consulting, all right? the service duration. In other words, how long you can, you know, 15 minutes, 30, whatever it is. A notice I put up here 30 minute because uh, I actually have like a 30 minute free. I have a 60 minute for my clients. I also have a 90 minute for my VIPs. So it's nice to put in the calendar name how many minutes it is. You can also charge 
for these. So if I wanted to set up a VIP uh, strategy session and I didn't want to mess with the sales page, I could just uh, charge them right here. 150 bucks, click your, uh, get the money, schedule it, and you're done. So that's pretty easy. And then if we click the advanced settings, then it just opens up this window so that you can add more details. Now you can add a, a logo. I'm not going to for the sake of time, but again, it just, uh, when you're building out a lot of different calendars, you know, kind of differentiates uh, that. Here's the service name. In other words, the name of this calendar, and then a brief little description. Keep in mind, this is what other people uh, will see. So I use this kind of as like a little um, extra marketing area. Okay. So if I just say like a jumpstart um, consultation to get your business moving. Okay. And then uh, you could assign it a group. We're not worrying about that. Here is that custom URL. And then the appointment invite title. Notice it has contact name. So whoever signs up, um, that's what will show up. Um, I'm not showing you in this video, but when you first uh, integrate your calendar, um, your Google Calendar with this system, uh, this is what shows up. So I like to put a little extra details. So I'm just gonna say 30 minute jumpstart. I can type call. Okay. And then it shows the team member. And then I like to give it a specific color um, so that I know when, when they show up on my calendar. All right. Is that making sense? And then I'm just going to save it. Takes it a minute. And then, uh, then over here to the left, it kind of is walking us down these steps. So the availability, it's a 30 minute. Now you could put buffer time. So what that means is um, you might have something on your Google calendar. Okay. Uh, and you, let's say, uh, free time, you're thinking you have an hour between, but all of a sudden, if that book's right next on top, so you could add buffer time um, between these appointments just to make sure nothing overlaps. Hope that is making sense. I'm just going to leave it at uh, zero for right now. Minimal scheduling notice. Uh, in other words, how much in advance can people get on your calendar? I don't like surprises. So I always have a one day notice. Uh, you can't get on my calendar today is what that means. And then the date range. So here's another little secret for you. Uh, if you just have open 30, 60 days and you think you're doing them a service, well, guess what? Then they're going to put it off. And then uh, 40 days from now, they're going to think, who is this Debbie chick? Why did I even schedule an appointment? So I like to kind of make this tight, like five to seven days. All right. And then I'm going to save it. And again, if we uh, look over here to the left, it's just walking us down this. So the select the form, I could actually um, like attach a very specific form. So let's say this was an application call. Uh, you could connect a application form with it. Again, this is just a basic to get you going. So we're just using the default pre-populate fields, sticky content contacts. I always turn that on. It just means if they've been kind of through the system already, it captures uh, some of that contact information. And now, you know, everybody's big into this consent checkbox. So you can word this however you want, but this is turned on by default. And then the confirmation is they will get a little confirmation message that just pops up. Now, if you want to take them to a thank you page, maybe you've got a little video, what to expect, all that kind of stuff, then you would click that and put the URL. But for right now, because we're just out of the gate, well, I want you to get this created fast and easy. We're just going to have that default message. And auto confirm new appointments. In other words, you don't have to uh, get a reminder saying, do you want this appointment? It automatically um, accepts it. All right. And then we hit the save button up here at the top right. 
And <clears throat> now this is very powerful. We used to have to write a whole automation sequence. So we would get notified when someone was on our calendar. So they would get notified, all that kind of stuff. But now it's built in. So who should receive notification of this appointment? The contact that just uh, opted in and then additional staff. Now, if you have a team, uh, you could also, uh, you know, maybe there's some back end work you wanted to do. You could do additional emails and put somebody else's email. Again, we're keeping it simple, so we're not doing that. You can turn this on to allow Google to send the invites or updated emails if you wanted. Uh, I'm just going to leave it off for right now. Okay. Uh, I am going to leave on to allow them to reschedule and allow them to cancel. And then down below here is just the, the verbiage. Uh, so if you wanted to put something else down here, you can. Right. So we're going to save it. So do you see how easy this is? It's not rocket science. We're going to get you off and running. Now, uh, you can customize how this calendar widget looks. Uh, you can change the default color, background, excuse me, all that kind of stuff. Um, the default uh, button uh, wording, uh, the name of your uh, calendar title is automatically turned on, all of that kind of stuff. You can even put some custom code in here. Now, for right now, I know you want to get in and start playing and changing the colors and stuff. Just leave it as is because I'm going to show you a couple other things that you can do with your calendars. All right. So we're just going to do save. <clears throat> and uh, just recently they've added uh, the option that if, if there was specific equipment or rooms, all that kind of stuff, you could actually incorporate this into it and like reserve rooms. But in your case, hey, uh, no need to the, uh, for any of that. So we're just going to save it. Okay, so the calendar has been saved and now take a look. Notice our little emoji right here. So see how uh, front and center, you know exactly what that calendar is and that little icon helps you find it quickly. So your 30 minute free consultation. Now, what do you do with it? Well, if you come over here to the three little dots over to the right and click that, there is a share option. If you click that, again, don't worry about all of this stuff. Again, the overwhelm, people are trying to go down these deep holes and learn everything. Let's just get a few things built and start using your account. And then you can come back later and be the expert. All we're going to do is where it says scheduling link, we are going to copy that link. Don't worry about all the other stuff right now. And let's click the X button to close this. If I open up a new tab and just paste that in, there you go. There's your calendar. And people can uh, just go ahead and hop in schedule it. They'll be prompted to fill out their details. Uh, they'll schedule the meeting and they'll be good to go. So how easy is that? Now, what do you do with this link? So first of all, you just save that um, link. Let me come back over here. Uh, save that link wherever you save your things that you use all the time. Put it in your email footer. Uh, if you're chatting with someone, you can drop it in. Uh, so see, it doesn't have to be complicated. Now, uh, you know, you might be thinking, well, it's kind of ugly or plain. Again, we're working on getting something done and accomplished, and then you can take a step further and dress it up and all of that kind of stuff, right? But I am going to show you a couple of options here. So I have built out a scheduling page and this is kind of a mini sales page also because I just have a few little services that I offer, but the key is I want to get people on the phone. So I've got my VIP days, I've got my group coaching, I've got templates, I've got a membership, but I mean, I could on the picture 
click and point them right to that sales page and and maybe i will but the real emphasis of this page and again this looks a little nicer than uh, that plain white page right is just a quick intro um, and if we uh, keep moving down. Uh, here's some testimonials from my clients. So it is like a mini little sales page of some of my services. And what I did here, I embedded um, a calendar, which again, we're not going to go deep into the woods. So that's one thing that you could do once you get comfortable with it. Another thing you can do um, here again is a button on a web page and it just takes me again to this calendar. Now, this page here, I could again dress it up so that it looks more like this, uh, but just kind of out of the box from my web page here, I just put a link to schedule a demo. Uh, this is um, just a quick page that talks about all of the fantastic services that high level offers and if you'd like a demo of it if you'd like uh, a 14 free trial uh, reach out and uh, if you would like um, this already built for you use my affiliate link and uh, i will put this in your account all right so let me come back here and let's see let me come front and center. So that's it. Do you see how easy it is? So stay tuned. I'll create some other videos here. The goal is I just want you to accomplish one little mini task on using this awesome all-in-one platform. And then, so the first thing is you want to get on the phone with people, right? So you talk about your services and you just say, hey, let me drop my link in here, schedule an appointment and let's chat. And then going forward, create a simple uh, lead magnet page, which I've got a great template for that. Uh, and then you can start building out your sales page. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments um, what questions you have. And if again, if you would like that template of the calendar, uh, use my affiliate link for a high level and I will put it in your account. All right, take care. Thanks for watching.